Hello everyone, welcome to Arts and Crafts for You. Uh, my name is Gina and we're here at Arts and Crafts for You in Brampton, Ontario. And this is Monday and uh, uh, as some of you have requested that I should be doing more videos, that you guys like my projects. Uh, and the only day that really I can record any videos would be Mondays as the store is closed. Uh, so today I'm gonna. I decided to show you how to do this little. It's kind of a little clutch. You can use it as a clutch. Has two zippers. Actually, has three zippers because I added a pocket in here. And um, so when I put two uh, clips here on the side, so I can actually use it as a clutch, and kind of hang it in my arm. Um, but it's really good for travel. Like you can. It will fit your passport or you know anything that you want in it and if you see if I open it has a really really deep pocket goes all the way to one end and then the other side also opens and there's another pocket and neither one touches each other the one that I'm gonna be showing you after I made my this one the original one this original one I did I tried to put my tablet in it and I find it slightly small so I decided that I would make it slightly bigger so I could actually put some documents and even some uh, you know paper or even my tablet so I can use it for other things so I'm gonna start with the measurements for the clutch for the the bigger one and but of course you can change the sizes it's, it's entirely up to you you can you know make a bigger smaller whatever side you decide so now I'm going to be giving you a list of materials uh, that you will be needing for the bigger one and the sizes. Uh, I'll try, I'll do my best not to make any mistakes or even say <laughs> something that I, sometimes I say something wrong or, you know, I get a, you know, filming videos can be a little bit uh, hard and sometimes, you know, when you're in camera, you know, you don't seem sometimes to say the right thing, but let's, let's get started. So for my main, for my outside fabric, what I have here, so I have front and back. So I'm using, I'm using this travel fabric and um, the, the measurements that I cut is two times, I'm going to use two of them, so 13 by 12 and two pieces of fusible fleecy. For my pockets, I'm going to be needing, that's my lining, that's pockets lining, I'm going to be needing um, four of the main fabric and, uh, and the measurements is 12 by 12 and, um, and I'm also going to be using, to make it a little bit thicker since I want to put my tablet in it, I'm using the shape flex on my, on my fabric so I'm going to iron it on to my fabric just to make it thicker. Then I have the outside pocket, this one here, this one that I have here, uh, the measurement that I have here is I have a piece of fabric here and the, the size is 9 by 12 and, uh, and, that's, and then I also am going to need three zippers, so one for the outside. For this smaller pocket you can use a smaller zipper but I don't have it in this color, a smaller one, so I'm just going to use a longer one I'm just going to cut it. Then for the little tabs that, that I put here on the side, on this one here, um, I have, you're going to be needing, you can do a long strip of two and a half, and then what are you going to be doing? I'll show you how to make them after. Just a long strip, it could be about maybe 10 to 12 inches long uh, and two and a half wide, and then I'll show you how to sew them. Then for your strap, on this one here I use it more of as a clutch, as you see it here, so I only attach it to one side. On the next bag that I'm going to make, I'm actually going to make it more as a strap that's going to go around that you can actually put it in your shoulder. Um, I just use the length of the fabric. Uh, you're going to need two pieces of fabric, length of your fabric. And it's two and a half by, I guess, 42. And uh, one other piece for the inside would be one and a half by um, 42. And I also put um, some of the, um, the shape flex just to make it a little bit thicker on the strap. But I'll explain step by step when we get to it. Okay, so let's get started. 
So I'm going to start here with my main. So I have here my main. I have my two pieces, my main, and my two pieces of fusible fleecy. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go fuse it to the wrong side of the, the my fabric. If you never use fusible fleecy, just the fusible fleecy normally is sold with instructions. You can read the instructions and follow the instructions. But normally you, the kind of the, the bumpy side is the part that has the glue. So you put that to the wrong side of your fabric, to the wrong side, and you iron it on. And you should use lots of steam so it can stay, it can uh, help you to stick to the fabric a little bit better. The shape flex that I'm using here in my lining also, so I have four pieces for pockets and four pieces of uh, shape flex and they, it's the same idea it's a cotton and also has the glue in one side so we're gonna that bumpy side that has the glue we're gonna iron it to the wrong side of our fabric okay so I'm gonna be I go to the iron and iron all these and we'll be right back so I am back. I fused my fusible fleecy to my outside fabric, so two of them, and the the f the shape flex. I fused them all to my four pieces of po uh, for my lining or the pockets. Um, so now we're gonna do the outside pocket. This one here. So we're gonna be doing this pocket here. So for that pocket. As I mentioned the size, um, it was 9 by 12, so I have 9 this way and 12 this way. What I did here, I marked 1 inch in, 2 inches down, and I made a line. So if you see, if I put my ruler, there's 1 inch in, in each side, and 2 inches, actually, sorry, not 2 inches, is 1 and a half, 1 and a half down. And I did the first line here. Okay, then from that line, I went a quarter of an inch down and I did another line, and another quarter of an inch down and I did another line. Then from one inch in, I did a line there, and one inch in, I did the other line there. And then, so it created a little box in the middle. So now I'm going to find my middle here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to fold it. And by creasing it, I can see the middle here. And I'm going to get one of my outside fabrics that I have here. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to fold it in half to find my middle. I'm going to crease it a little bit. And then I'm going to get my pocket. And I'm going to go about two inches down. And I'm going to put my middle there. Right at that middle there. And I'm going to pin it. So I have a couple pins here. So I don't know if you ever done a zipper like this. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to go take this to the sewing machine and I'm going to be sewing here, across here, up and across. Okay, I'll be right back. So as you see, I sewed here, here, here and there. So my line in the middle that I have here, I'm actually going to cut it. I'm um, going to get a a seam ripper and get get it started but I'm not gonna go all the way to the end here so if you see I kinda drew a little line there like this and I'm just gonna be cutting it all the way to about here okay so I'm gonna make a little hole here then I'm gonna get scissors just to get my scissors in and I'm just gonna cut it right on that line. So I'm not gonna go right to the end. Then here, as you see, I'm gonna cut it really close without cutting my seam. 
like making a little triangle like that do the same to this the other side and and the reason that I'm doing this is because I need to turn so I'm gonna cut that off and now I'm going to go here to this side. I don't want a lot of bulk on it, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to actually try to trim my fusible fleecy out of the fabric. So I'm going to go really close to the seam, and I'm going to trim that off without trimming my fabric. Okay? Do the same to the other side. So it just eliminates all that bulk when we flip the fabric in. So I'm going to go here and just make sure I don't cut the fabric and just trim that fusible. Okay. So now I'm going to go here and what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip this to this side and that to that side okay I'm gonna go here and fix it and iron it and this is why we cut really close to the seam there so we can actually end up having this pretty flat like that so you're gonna take that to the iron press it with all your fabrics in. If you'd like to see a little bit of that color through the zipper, that's fine. You can iron it like that and leave a little bit. But I don't want to see mine, so I'm actually going to push mine all the way back as much as possible and iron it, and then we're going to start with the zipper. So I iron it. I pressed it really well. So you see like that. So now I'm ready to attach my zipper. So I'm going to get my zipper, and I'm going to put... So right side of your zipper, down, side that opens, you're going to put it down. And of course in this case we're going to have to open it. And normally sometimes the best way is getting a needle and thread and sew a little bit here so when you open it stays put. So you can go here and pin it properly. I'm just going to go here, I'm actually do push it a little bit slight over here because when I sew on the other side I don't want to sew on top of the metal piece so I'm gonna push it over here so I'm gonna go here well oh, these pins are really crooked I guess all the kids play with them here in class okay so I'm just gonna put a pin for now here and I'm gonna bring it to the other side I'm gonna have a look so I'm gonna center my zipper to the middle of my opening. I'm going to pin it. I'm going to use a zipper foot and I'm going to sew this around. It's not well centered. And I'm going to be sewing this around. So I'm going to just take this to the machine and attach my zipper. So the way you're going to sew it is, after you pinned everything properly, you're going to sew all the way around the zipper, make a little box like that. Okay, I'll be right back. So I already attached my zipper all the way around here, as you see. So it's all attached in there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to trim this off. I don't need it anymore. You can definitely secure it a little bit more, a couple more stitches there and there, since we're going to be opening, so you don't want that to fall apart. So you really want to reinforce that. So now we're going to finish our pocket. So we're going to bring the lining up to here. Put a pin here. And there, and we're going to be sewing here, here, and here. And the pocket will be done that way. 
Okay, let's have a look. I'm just gonna go to the machine quickly. So this, be right back. So there, there, and there. So I sew my pocket in. So I sew about a half an inch in. What I did afterwards, after I sew, I just used my pinking shears and I trimmed around so my pocket doesn't fray. All right, so this part is done. Now we're ready to attach the other zippers. So this part is literally, it's like you're making a makeup bag. So we're gonna have fabric side up and I didn't mention before, but uh, I attached the zipper on the side, this side that's 12 inches. So if I go here, that's my 12 inches side and my 13 inch, it's my length. All right. So now I'm going to grab my other zipper and I'm going to put side down. So my fabric side up, zipper that opens side down and I'm going to grab one lining. One of my linings and I'm going to, this is a 12 by 12 as you see is a little bit shorter and I did that on purpose because I want my pocket on the inside to be slightly shorter. So what I'm going to go here, I'm going to pin it. Since both of my fabrics are stabilized, it doesn't really matter what side I'm going to sew. So I'm probably going to be sewing on this one. This one have the diffusible fleecy in the bottom and this one, this one here has the shape flex. So they both stabilize. So it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to pin it and sew it across as I made like the sandwich in this direction. All right, if you're not comfortable with um, sewing without pinning, in this case here, I always use uh, a, a zipper foot. Okay, so let's go. I'm gonna go to the machine, I'll be right back. So I attach my zipper between my two fabrics. In this case here, I don't wanna do a top stitch here, but I do want, I don't want my lining to get caught on my zipper. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this to the sewing machine. I'm going to open this way and I'm actually going to do a top stitch just on the lining side. So I'm going to open that there and I'm going to sew a top stitch across here just to hold my lining back. After I'm done that, after I sew my top stitch here, I'm going to put this one here. I'm going to get my other fabric, my other outside fabric and I'm going to put it on top of my zipper like that, right sides together, right? Then I'm going to get my other lining, one more lining. And again, I'm going to now put it on this side here, right sides together. So I have two linings and two sides. So I'm going to even it out again like that. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to sew it across. After I attach that on, I'm going to do the same thing and do a top stitch just on top of my lining right across there. So first, I'm going to do my top stitch this way. Then I'm going to get my other outer fabric and put a right side with right side, zipper down, even it out, and get my lining side down. That's a 12 by 12 piece, side down and sew across. After sewed across, I'm going to flip it to this side. Just imagine this would be sewed already. I'm going to do my top stitch across there, just to the lining. All right, I'll be right back. So I'm back. So I sew the other side here and I sew my lining also in 
At this point, you're probably wondering why I have two extra pieces of lining. But, and if you see this, it almost look like if I wanted to make a, a makeup bag, I would be sewing the sides and I would end up, I would end up sewing the sides here and uh, I end up having a bag, though the corners you'd be done. But that's not what we're doing. We're doing is gonna be a double side. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go here to your main, again, we're gonna get your other zipper and we're gonna touch to this end. The same thing that we did to the other side. We're gonna side down. There's where the other two lining pieces come in. So I'm going to get another lining and I'm going to touch here. In this case here you can decide if you want your zippers to open from the same direction as you see this one opens this way. I could either have this one here opening this way or this way. But I think I'm going to leave mine opening in the same direction. So I'm going to go here and put it on top. I'm going to get my lining, another piece of lining, and I'm going to put on top and I'm going to be sewing the same thing that I did to this side. So I'm going to sew across. Then I'm going to secure my zipper just to the lining. I'm going to do a top stitch just to the lining. I'm going to repeat exactly what I did to this step, but just on this side. Then when I'm done this side, I'll show you what to do. I'll be right back. All right, so I sew to the bottom of the top so I did my zipper and my lining and I secure my lining just top stitch my lining so it wouldn't get caught in a zipper Then I'm gonna get my and now this is what we're gonna do we're gonna bring our other side let's see if you can see this so I have the zipper there that I just attached my lining to the bottom now I'm gonna bring the other side completely the other side Let's see if I can bring this on frame so you can see it. This side here that only has the zipper, only has the zipper in the middle. I'm going to bring it up to this zipper. So it makes a long piece like that. And this is where my other lining comes in. I'm going to grab my other lining. So I'll put it there see if you can see better this way and grab my lining and I'm gonna do the same thing the sandwich so main fabric zipper and lining right sides oops it's doing it backwards and the lining we're gonna touch the outside again so ends up like this all right, so I'm just gonna go to the machine and sew these together. I'll be right back. So after you attach your last zipper, I'm gonna just uh, open one of these and turn it to the right side. So this is literally what it looks like. Let me see. there's one zipper here on this side one zipper here on this side and then I have all those pockets one in one side one in the other side but I'm gonna flip it to the other side first I'm gonna touch those tabs that we just to hold a handle or even a strap so I'm gonna go here that's why I brought it to this to this right side I'm gonna go here on my right side and this side I'm gonna the tabs that I've made are let me see the measurements this the tab so two inch two and a half inches and it was a strip by 12 and what I did with it was let's see if I can show you I'm going to put this to the side and just show you what I did. I So I have a 12 inch strip by two and a half. I iron to the middle. 
and then I open it, iron it to the middle, iron it to the middle, and then fold it, iron it, and I did a top stitch on this side, on this side. Then I cut it into pieces, into little pieces, about two inches each, and I put it through one of these, and I went there and I secured it. I did a little seam here just to secure it in place. I already did that ahead, so I have them done here. So I have four of them. My other bag I only have two. And th on this one, because it's longer, it's bigger, I'm actually gonna touch four. And I'm gonna really, I'm gonna go where my zipper is here. And I'm gonna go about one inch down. And I'm gonna pin it there. The other side of the zipper, same thing. More or less about one inch. You can measure if you'd like. I'm gonna go back to the top. Sorry about that. So we're gonna do one inch down. We're gonna put one there, and one inch down. We're gonna put another one there. Okay, about one inch, and we're gonna put it there because we want this when it folds. They end up together here. Then we're going to go to the other side and we're going to do the same thing on the same side. We're going to go one inch down, put a pin there, and about one inch down. I'm just eyeing it, but you can definitely measure it. Make sure you have the proper measurement. And that's where the tabs are going to be. So in only in one side. You can put on this side or on the pocket side. It's up to you. Okay, so I'm going to go to the machine and I'm just going to secure them in place so I can take the pins off. Okay, so I attach my tabs, my four tabs. I just secure it in place. I'm still going to sew around. I'm going to turn it back now to the other side. So I turn my fabric to the wrong sides and you end up with a long tube like that. So there's the main and it's attached with the zipper here and attached with another zipper here. So I'm going to open it up just like that, really long piece going from one end to the other. I'm going to um, open my zippers otherwise I wouldn't be able to turn my bag inside out. So I'm going to go here and open my zippers, both of them. Okay, I'm going to put this f really flat. And what I'm going to do here on the zipper side, I'm actually going to fold the zipper towards my main fabric, like that. And I'm going to be putting a pin there, because that's how I want to sew it. Make sure your tabs is in. And the same thing here, zipper folded to my main, my outside fabric, and we're going to put a pin here. Let's see. Same to the other side, fold it to the main, the outside fabric like the. And the same here. Fold it to the right, the outside fabric, and pin it. Then you're going to pin it all the way around like that, and we're going to be sewing that all the way around. The only part we're not going to be sewing is in one of these sides, the bottom. We're going to leave a, about two to three inches opening so we can flip it inside out. So you can mark here two or three inches. It's whatever makes you comfortable. If you think you can turn it with two inches, you can do that. But if not, just leave it a little bit wider. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go to the sewing machine. So all the way around. 
I'm going to also trim, after it's sold around, I'm going to trim all these extra pieces of zipper and even slightly in. And the seam allowance that I'm going to be using it around, was, it's, going, it's going to be a half an inch. So I sew all the way around. I already did trim my zipper. And so and I went a little closer so I reduced the bulk and also all your corners have to be trimmed. I left a two inch opening here to flip it inside out. Hopefully that will be enough. So now I'm gonna go here. If you have any strings, just trim them off. Okay, and I'm gonna try to go all the way past all these zippers. all the way to the other end and I'm gonna bring that end gently in and I'm gonna turn it all inside out I don't think I my zippers were open a lot so hopefully I should be okay there we go just go gentle, don't pull too hard so you don't rip your uh, opening l bigger. So, all right. So I'm going to go here and already fix this bottom, fix my corner, go here, fix it, and I'm actually going to open my zipper all the way now so I can show you what it looks like. And I'm going to also open this one all the way and show you. So that looks like this. Okay, so I'm going to move my other lining here in the end. Let's see if I can reach from here to this end to there. You can use a needle, a uh, knitting needle to get to these corners. Alright, so this is what you have. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is, this side here has an opening, we're going to go ahead and close it, okay. So I closed my opening here, so I have this big tube like this, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to put that in, all the way in, and fix it, it should be okay because I did one inch shorter than the outside, so there it is, so adjust this here, like that, and you got your other one here, you're going to do the same thing, you're going to fold it in, and adjust it, again. So now you end up with two pockets, one here and one here. The good thing is one doesn't touch the other. You can put your hands in and it doesn't touch the other. So adjust it a little bit, make sure it's all even. Close your zipper, there we go. Okay, I'm going to trim a couple things that I have here. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to, I can close it to whichever side I would want. And this is where your strap comes in. To make your strap, I have one here that I already did. Um, mind you, I didn't attach the hardware yet. I will do it off camera so we don't make this video extremely long. 
But for the strap, what I did here to create this look, I cut my fabric, the black fabric, two and a half inches wide. And the blue fabric, I did one and a half inch wide. So what the way it works is you got your two and a half. And I also use the shape flex on the black. And what I did was I put right sides together so this side see so this side here let me put a pin just to show you after the the black is with the, the shape flex so stabilize it a little bit so it's a little bit thicker I sew it there then I open that and I sew it there when I flip inside out you end up like that with the black in both sides then you're gonna get some uh, hardware, whatever, whichever ones you like, and you can attach your strap to one side here, and this side here, and you can use it as a bag. You can use it as a bag. You can even have it with your pocket. To the outside. I had not mentioned before, but if you're working with the directional fabric, um, you should pay attention that your pattern is uh, side up. I think in my case here, I didn't really care you could have used a better probably like this but I didn't really I didn't really care but if you want to use this as a bag you can add your strap just to the side here like that and like that and then you can open it here now as you see I have my tablet here I can put it in and if I have papers I can definitely get all my papers in in there and the zipper here you can definitely put some documents or whatever you decide that you want to do and it's all in there you can also this also would fit uh, an iPad this size would definitely fit your iPad if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel and give us a like. Happy sewing everyone!